We start this uh, broadcast with the top news that we are tracking this hour. Now, Kerala journalist Siddiq Kapan, who has been in jail for nearly two years now, has been finally granted bail by the top court in connection to the Hathras case. Now, granting bail to the Kerala journalist, the Supreme Court made some very strong observations that every person has a right to freedom of expression and how can that be a crime? Supreme Court goes on to say that the Uttar Pradesh government has not been able to prove that there was anything provocative in the documents that was found in the car when uh, Siddiq was traveling to Hathras. However, granting him uh, bail, a bench led by Chief Justice Yu Yu Ladid directed that he be produced within three days before the trial court, which will in fact release him on bail conditions as it deems fit. Now remember, he was arrested in 2020. Uh, when he was on his way to report the Hathras gang rape case, he was charged with Unlawful Activities Prevention Act as the UP government claimed that he had links with the Popular Front of India. He was in jail for the last uh, two years. He was arrested on 5th of October 2020. So Supreme Court said that long time in jail is one of the factors for him to grant bail. Secondly, uh, this is a UAPA case. So court has to be prima facie satisfied that there is no false, there is no truth in the allegations of the prosecution. So one uh, thing about the conspiracy which the prosecution said was that they were carrying pamphlets to create rights in, uh, in Hathras and other parts. Now when that pamphlet was read down to the court, the court said that this is just uh, a, a pamphlet to protest. The right to protest is a part of freedom of speech and expression. There is nothing in this pamphlet which incites rights anywhere. Menakshi joins us live on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Menakshi, this, you know, ever since the Kerala journalist was arrested, there was a lot of talk about freedom of speech, freedom of expression, especially when it comes to uh, journalists. And now the court making it absolutely clear that uh, how can freedom of expression be a crime? Well, uh, that's right. You see, uh, what essentially transpired in court is a clear indication that the three-judge bench composition, remember, the Supreme Court usually has a division bench composition or two justices of the Supreme Court, but here we're talking about not just a CGI-led bench of the Supreme Court, but three justices of the Supreme Court on the bench, and they had gone through the files, and whatever material the UP government had uh, to support, uh, to resist bail of Siddiqui Kappan, clearly was not sufficient to satisfy the Supreme Court Essentially, the UP government was trying to press the toolkit, uh, saying that that was a propaganda uh, meant uh, for uh, uh, creating unrest after the Hathras incident, to which uh, the Honorable Chief Justice of India said that freedom of expression is something that is integral to every individual. And he was merely looking to assimilate people uh, for the cause. That surely can't be a crime in the eyes of law. So that was the context of the observation uh, CJ Lalit made to the UP government council in this case. And at the outset of proceedings, the Supreme Court's uh, mind was very clear because the bench gave a clear indication to Mahesh Ethamlani for UP government saying that the Supreme Court will grant bail to Siddiqui Kappan. What are the conditions the UP government uh, wants imposed on this one? Uh, it can spell out before the top court. So what we are seeing uh, is that uh, the Supreme Court has taken into account a period of incarceration uh, spent by Kappan. He's been incarcerated since October 2020. The material uh, which the UP government uh, relied upon did not prove to be sufficient in the eyes of the Supreme Court uh, to justify continued incarceration of Siddiqui Kappan because of which he has been granted bail with the condition that he will surrender his passport. He will continue uh, to subject himself uh, to the jurisdiction of uh, Delhi uh, for a period of uh, six weeks and subsequent to that he can shift or relocate to Kerala from where he hails. But like you rightly mentioned at the outset, the pertinent aspect of the proceedings today has been again the reiteration of the, the premium the constitution places on freedom of expression in India. Absolutely.